dusty old bones full of green dust. <gasps> oh no, it's mini gross. That's what she said, not me. Um, thanks for the resub mini and uh Nernaz. What anti spell event? Is the event not working anymore? It should still be working. This is why you have no friends. Pathetic. Wait, what? No friends logs? I mean, I don't have any friends, but what does that have to do with anything? Is Master Duel laggy? No. You say Hazukashi? Hazukashi. <laughs> Build a deck. Neo's Wise Man Turbo, please. Is Kluger in the game? How do they not have Kluger in the game? The card has been out for years. That's very Hazukashi of you, Mini. Mini, why aren't you streaming right now? What are you doing? You absolute buffoon. I'm gonna have to add Neo's Wise Man Turbo to the list. I ain't doing it today. Uh, I wish chat would stop moving for two seconds so I can copy paste this. Doo doo. First, hello there. It's money Monday. I'm working. Oh, right. You work on Mondays, don't you? Are we playing mill? Um, no, I need to change the deck. Dusty old bones full of green dust. Um, level six anti spell. Anti spell. Ooh, crazy box turbo. Hell yeah. The name should be Elemental Hero Neos Kluger. Oh, is it in? Well, I mean, I typed in Neos Wiseman, it didn't show up, which means it's probably not in the game. Time for a wild monster appears. <laughs> Basically, it's just use Kluger to bring him out. Why is Minnie being mean to you? She should never be called Minnie. She has a redeem called Minnie. Minnie. Where if you redeem it, she'll just yell at you. And I kind of like it. That's where I got my um, redeem from. You were contemplating some action which will bring credit upon you? She does? Yeah. She's the inspiration for the worthless redeem. Master Duel. The box logs? Yeah, we're playing box turbo. Hello, Mr. Logs. Hello there. Basically a worthless redeem. Who's Mini? Can one of the mods shout out Mini full? If we have any mods on right now. Wait, did they just go into Sunville on Dryas and then pass? Um, okay. H Hazukashi. Congratulations. Uh, if you control a dark yourself. monster, this is the only card in your hand. If you control an XYZ monster. Hmm. I think I can spit out every card in my hand. But I can't special summon any of them yet. Uh, uh, I'll get into this one. Mods? We don't have any mods in chat? How are there no mods in chat? The stream has been live for seven whole minutes. And I'm uh, like an hour late. <laughs> I was supposed to start the stream an hour ago. <laughs> well, not an basically an hour not not exactly an hour but like basically an hour are there any pendulum decks to be willing to play I played valiance like last week dusty old bones full of green dust oh yeah so the reason I'm late is because I was just doing payroll we have a lot of new people so it just took a while to like determine all of their uh, royalty payments. This one. Uh, what is Hazukashi? That means embarrassing in Japanese. 
you you say it to say like you know how embarrassing that's like the definition for it okay the business logs paying people yep once a month I do royalty payments to all the editors and that was today I forgot about it though I was supposed to do it earlier this morning well I mean I would have done earlier this morning if I had remembered is what I should say. But since I forgot, I was like, oh no, I gotta do that before stream because I'm sure they want to get paid more than you guys want to watch me stream. Hmm. 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 Did you only play Valance because they don't have they don't really pendulum summon they pendulum summon kind of pain people hazukashi you guys will understand one of these days one of these days when you wish you'll have someone who can do it for you so you don't have to because it's a lot of work oh fuck i could have special summoned the card from my hand if i wasn't a stupid idiot a stupid moron wait how come I can't go into? Oh, because I'm locked. Fuck. I'm locked into dark monsters for the rest of the turn. I'm actually a, a perfectly normal individual. Um, How do you feel about those mystic mines you bought? Ah, uh, they weren't that expensive. They were like 10 bucks each. I spend more than that on DoorDash. Has someone else to do work for you? Sounds too close to IRL. Um, it's just... I, I have thought about it. I've done the cost-benefit analysis. It's literally once a month. It takes like one to two hours. There's no reason to have someone else do it. Because it would require me to give them access to, like, all the YouTube channels to look at the data. Which I could do by just giving them, like, manager access, but... It'd also require me to, like, write down everything and tell them about all the new employees and stuff. It's just easier for me to do it. Preda Plant Flytrap. <gasps> Ooh, guess what? You guys want to know how much money I made in October? I finally have the numbers. I can tell you my total gross income for October. What's your GOTY? What's that? 10 bucks? The whole structure deck? And that's one more person to pay? Yeah, exactly. That's one more person to pay. Are you positive now? You guys want to know how much it is? So, my total gross income for October was this amount in chat it was only negative 3500 I'm almost gonna break even one of these days last month it was negative like 7,000 that's a huge improvement yeah only negative 3500 that's like nothing and that's not even accounting any of the money for the Pokemon channel, which wasn't monetized in October. Yeah, the numbers are getting better. Logs, I think they put a dash in front of your <laughs> The debt logs. It's fine. I moved 10,000 out of my stocks into my bank account. I can, I can take the loss for a couple more months. And plus, no November and December ad revenue is always super high. However, January is always super, super low, so... Uh, uh, February is not that much better, either. Still got to invest costs to consider, so good. Yeah, that's like after, you know, everything. That's like total income minus total expenses. Holy cow, you made 4k more than last month. That's honestly impressive. Did I? 
No, I think costs were just down. <laughs> I think I actually made like a little bit less. The costs were just down a little bit. I don't know why. The worst festival. Less Millennium Air. Oh, that's true. I didn't do a Millennium Air in October. I do count that as like part of like how much I pay. Oh, and also October I hired a bunch of new people, which meant like paying a whole bunch of new like subscriptions for Sony Vegas. Not even with Valentines. Wait, what? Valentines. Y'all people have Valentines. Hazukashi. Activate Kage Tokage. Less Millennium Airs. I can't believe I made a mistake playing my favorite deck. I'm actually a stupid idiot. Not me. I don't celebrate Valentine's Day. I love Valentine's Day. It's my third favorite holiday. Right after Valentine's Day. Hmm, can any of these help me extend? Oh, this one was bounced. Oh, I don't have anything else to add to my hand. Uh, should I go into Crazy Box? Yeah, I'm gonna go into Crazy Box. It's Crazy Box time. Valentine's, heck no, I live for that day after chocolate sales. Dude, that was my favorite. I loved Valentine's Day because of the half-off chocolate afterwards. <gasps> oh no! Use the effect was selected. Add an Aro Mage monster from your deck to your hand. Does this one have an effect if it gains life points? Uh, once per turn, gain life points. Add a plant monster from your deck to your hand. Let's not let them do that. Isn't Valentine's Day in February or something? It is. What about a duel between Minifull and Nova? Wait, what about them? Do they want a duel? I think Mini just said she's busy. And Nova just finished up her thing. Here's the great thing about these streams. None of my friends watch my streams. So I don't have to worry about... Wait, wait, wait. I can negate my own effects and then attack. I don't have to worry about them being here. I can say whatever I want. And they'll never know. It's just me and you. Versus the world. Genius. The bully logs call me out for not having friends. We all don't have friends. I thought you didn't have friends. I don't have friends. I'm late. How could you be late? With all those boyfriends, your Valentine's Day might even pay your debt. <laughs> I'm only in a little bit of debt. Just, just a tiny bit of debt. Thankfully, I was in a pretty big surplus for years, so I had I have some savings, which I'm slowly going through at a very rapid pace. What do you and wanting people to link their mic? Link? Oh, you mean lick? I don't do that. I have never once paid anyone to lick their mic. That is propaganda pushed by Nova. She has no proof. Is he crying about firing 40 people? No. I would never cry. That is very Hazukashi. Which Nova? Uh, Nova Aokami. I love Crazy Box. He's so random. I know, right? Literally me for real for reals. You paid $10 to Twitch Interactive? What? Play full Legendary Dragons? Why? They're so bad. Baba Booey, Baba Booey. Send one Predator Plant Monster from your deck to the graveyard. Place one Predator Counter on each phase that monster on the field. 
And if you do, any of those monsters that are level 2 or higher become level 1 as long as they have a predator counter. If you fusion summon a dark monster while this card is in your graveyard, you can banish this card from your graveyard, then target one card in the field and destroy it. Whoa. Are you still a Rosami fan? Uh... Yes. Fun fact. My brother's birthday is February 15th and he doesn't have a girlfriend. Sadly, he cannot have two special days in a row. What? He can't have two special days in a row. Of course you can. Should add a bunch of traps like Ordeal Traveler and head judging for more craziness. <laughs> the deck's already bad enough. I don't need to make it worse. Mr. Logs, how are you liking 5Ds? So, every Saturday after stream, we head into the Discord and we watch a couple of episodes of Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds. And I gotta tell you guys, I did say I didn't want to watch it because it's a children's show and I'm not super into those kinds of things. Because the themes and like plot points are very, um, just not my, my, my speed. And, and I have to tell you, after watching 12 episodes of Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds with, with everyone else in chat, my opinion has not changed even a little bit. Miniful? What about Mini? Miniful is nice. We have nice conversations. It's a mouthful. Yeah, Mini is very nice. Agreed, Yu-Gi-Oh's cringe. Watch the subs? No! Can we get a Discord link? I don't want people in my Discord, though. You could always type in exclamation point Discord. But I gotta tell you, the only thing I use it for is watching Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds and giving updates when I'm not streaming. Imagine playing Umi Control in your stream before, Hazekashi. <gasps> I should play Umi Control! There are, like, there's a trap card that treats itself as Umi. But going fast makes me feel alive. Five Ds feels more seen in compared to the other shows. <laughs> it's a kid show. It's so cheesy. It is unabashedly cheesy. To be honest, the Dark Singers comic gets kind of mature. Oh. My friends, I can't, I can't leave my friends behind. Oh, I know you've been digging your way out of this prison for four years, but these people who I just met two days ago, they're my friends, I can't leave them. I get how it is, you say. I, too, have friends. I'm going to ruin these things I've been doing for the past four years to minorly inconvenience the person you're dueling against. Oh, my thank you, now we're best friends, and we'll never see each other ever again. They linked for Verte. Why didn't they just win? Who's your favorite 5Ds character so far? All of them. I love every single person in the show. How much money would I have to pay you to play Laval Synchro Turbo? Didn't I already do that? What's your favorite season of Yu-Gi-Oh? All of them equally. I can't possibly pick a favorite. That's like picking your favorite child. You know, you have one secretly, but you don't ever talk about it out loud. I love you say gaslight in friendship. You guys don't know what gaslight means. How do you keep finding those people running weird decks? I don't know. Plant pile deck is grindy, except maybe Sun Avalon. They have Sun Avalon too. I think they're just playing like a pure, oh, 60 card plant pile, yeah. All right, thanks for the resub, Devil Maul. And Mitch Satchel, must have forgot to say it. I'm your favorite viewer, right? You have VIP, so yeah, of course. Everybody knows that you can buy your streamer's attention by just saving up tons of channel points for VIP. Good morning? If it was a good morning, I'd be fishing. <laughs> when that grass looks greener. Season 3, Jason commits fun. I can't say that on stream. 
Does the VIP stick forever? Eh, forever-ish. It'll be there for a long time. Can I get this streamer's attention? Forgive my free prime. <gasps> Thank you for your free prime, big Russian ox. I love you. I'm gonna build Umi control. How do I clear the deck? Create new. <laughs> Umi. While this card is on the field, this card's name becomes Umi. Are there any other Umis? This one? This one becomes Umi too, right? Does the retrain also become Umi? No Umi control, this should be interesting. The thing I fear the most has not been born yet, and the mother is already dead. <laughs> All right, this is a redeem. The thing I fear the most has not yet been born and the mother is already dead. Maiden of Aqua Time. What does the new one do? Uh, this one doesn't even treat itself as Umi while on the field. You can only use the effect of Yashiro once per turn. This card becomes Umi while face up on the field. You have a question? Hello there, question. Oh, I love Sausage de Flore, but she's been great this event. Huh? Hi, Mr. Logs. I finally got Twitch to work so I can see you lose. Excellent. Maiden of Aqua Time. Yeah, so these are my only two ways to get Umi on the field since all the spells are banned. Hmm. Is there a way to search out Maiden of the Aqua? Because I don't know if that's possible. Dualogs always wins. What do you mean? I love how Twitch bugs you, bugs out, and forgets I'm following. Huh? Oh, yeah. It's because Twitch is run by um, uh, spaghetti and meatballs. What's your game of the year? Oh. Um. This year, did I play anything besides World of Warcraft and Yu-Gi-Oh? I'm trying to think of a single other game I play that wasn't World of Warcraft or Yu-Gi-Oh. Hmm. Um. I played Vampire Survivors for like five minutes. I played Pokemon for a stream. Oh, I played Pokemon Diamond, which came out <laughs> a long time ago. <laughs> Millennium Air. D and D. I play D and D every Sunday. But that's not a video game. Uh, I played Inscription, but I didn't like it very much. I played a little bit of Crab Game like once or twice. I played uh, a little bit of Creeper World Four. Apparently, ooh, that one wasn't half bad. Oh yeah, I played Elden Ring for like five minutes. Damn, a whole year and only played two to three games. Yeah, I'm not a real gamer. Like, I just play, like, one or two things, and that's it. The thing is, I play those one or two things constantly, though. Like, I have, you know, hundreds of hours into Master Duel and World of Warcraft. Yeah, I played Among Us. Our Sonar Fish and Sea Stealth 2 in Master Duel. Um, Sonar Fish? Sonar Fish is... Both of those are, but we're in the anti-spell event, so I can't play them. Okay, uh, I'm gonna play <laughs> all these cards which don't work. <laughs> Ocean Dragon Lord, while Umi is on the field. How do I get these cards out if I can't play Umi? Creeper World 4 is amazing, is it? I got like stuck on level 2, so I didn't really do it. Ooh, what's this? How dull for you to live your life without any heals to die on. You, on your vast flat, barren plains of compromise, acceptance, and accommodations, while I reign supreme over the lush, rolling highlands of stupid shit I have rationally chosen to stake my entire identity on. Oh, that's a good one. How many royal finish cards do you have? Uh, I don't know. I think there's a way to check. Okay. 
Okay. I don't think I can do this. Oh, uh, this card in the field is destroyed by battle card effects. Special summon to your hand. One water, water monster from your deck. Oh, we have this card. Uh, which can be searched out of the deck. Wait, wait. Oh, we don't have anything else. We have that. We have Maiden, which we can't search. We have this, which can be kind of searched out. This is the full extent of Umi control. Add Tremora. I can't even use half these cards. Shore Knight. Tremora. Ooh, Ice Jade Tremora. That's a good way to get it out. The Mathematician. Oh, I don't have any ways to search. Target one face-up card your opponent controls. Destroy one Ice Jade monster you control. And if you do negate that target monster's effects on his turn, if a face-up water monster you control leaves the field by an opponent's card, decks up being destroyed, you can add to your hand or spell to someone Ice Jade monster from your deck. Hmm. Play the Paleos. Play Frogs. Can you add Sharks? I could add Sharks, but I... That's not playing Umi control, that's playing Sharks. Check Mother Grizzly and Sangan? No. I need to get Kairu Shin out. This is my main win condition. The problem is I can't really search any of these cards because I don't have the spells. The Ice Jade SR can search the trap. Add one Ice Jade spell trap from your deck to your hand. When you want to activate the card or effect that targets this card, or targets this card for an attack. You can activate this effect. Next time this card will be destroyed. Card effect. It is not destroyed. Also special one one monster from your hand or a graveyard. Ooh. Uh, target one face up card your point controls. Destroy one ice chain monster you control. And if you do negate the target monster's effect at the end of this turn. If a face up water monster you control leaves the field by opponent's card. Except being destroyed. Uh, you can add to your hand or spell someone ice jade monster from your deck. Oh that's pretty good. Okay. And then we'll play this one, and then we'll play one of these, and then we'll ignore the other ones because they suck. How are you going to control Umi without magic? I have Forgotten Temple of the Deep. That's basically Umi at home. Don't forget Ice Barrier. Oh my god, Ice Barrier is a trap. I forgot about that. Wait, can I go into this one? I'll add it anyway. Ice Barrier. <gasps> and then we can go into the Kaijus. My Royal Rare Kaiju. Tornado wall. <laughs> I love your channel. I fall asleep for your top tens. Why? Thank you, Kitchen Quest. Why do you need searches? Good duelists start with the cards they want. You mean like you say? Ooh, should I play Red Reboot? <gasps> Torrential Tribute? Oh, uh, I guess I could play Torrential. Torrential Tribute, and then I'll also throw in Sky Prison, and Solemn, and hmm, Jellyfish doesn't work because you can't send Umi, right? It's Negate on Monsters still works. It just can't spell some monsters from the hand. Also, it can't negate traps. I'll, I'll I'll put it down to one. Maybe Citadel for an extra way to get Sea Stealth Attack on the field. Citadel Well is hard to get out though. Like I can't even really run Mega Fortress Well. I'm just kind of like coping on including it in it for no reason. Hmm. Water Citadel. I love your streams, especially when you shit and or fard. I don't do that. Tremora can special summon. I know she can, but that's it. Throw in a cheeky Jinzo? I don't have Jinzo, though. How do I become a skilled, professional, beautiful, breathtaking, never the same VTuber such as yourself? Uh, I'm not any of those things. So I have no idea. The water statue for fun? <gasps> water statue. Water stat. Oh, I think they're all banned. Barrier stat. Yeah, they're all banned. Umi control that Umi. I do have Umi. I have two copies of Umi. Have you ever considered an anti Cyber Dragon deck? No. That's too easy. Just play a whole bunch of anti machine support. 
Oh, six whole copies of Umi. Yeah, I have six copies of Umi. That's basically like uh, ASMR readout text. It's time to do 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 what about Esteban? Oh my god, that card sucks. I love it. Okay. Don't forget Anti Regeki. No. You guys will not trick me into playing bad cards. Not this time. I have learned something today. <gasps> Ooh, Egyptian God Slime. He's water, technically. Ooh. Ooh. <gasps> if you control water monster, target one spell in your opponent's graveyard, and if you do the rest of the turn, they get all spell effects your opponent controls. Ooh. Ooh, I want to play Cataclysmic. These cards suck. Hmm. This card. If you control two more water monsters, target one phase up monster opponent controls. That phase up monster cannot attack. Sure, I'll add one of those. Should I add in Paleozoic Dinomishkus? I don't think so. I have Erosion already. There's one other card I want to add, but I can't remember what it is. Oh my god, my shoulder hurts. <gasps> Paleozoic Olenoids! Hell yeah. Three copies of Olenoids. We already have Sea Stealth Attack. Hmm. Use Stealth Kraken. Use the Mermail Link Monster. It doesn't do anything, though. Unless you're playing Mermails. Where's your Witch's Droid? <laughs> it add a Beaver Warrior? No. Tetsum Aratum Numen? The Numen card. I don't know. Maybe. Let me check. Give me a second. I do a tiny bit of reading. Just just a little bit of reading. Oh yeah. Um Metal Reflex Slime. I need three copies of Metal Reflex Slime. Okay, what was the other one? Newman? Oh, I gotta turn off my notifications. Let's see. Ooh, level 5 one. Neither player can special summon monsters with 1800 or less attack. Neither player can special summon monsters with 1800 or more attack. Mmm. How interesting. I am very smart. We'll generate one of these. Okay, now I need to cut down some cards. I'll cut that one down to one. I'll cut this one down to one. I'll cut this down to one because it's searchable. I'll cut this down to one. Uh, I need three of these. I need three of these. I probably don't need three of these, right? Um, Target one water monster in your graveyard. Apply one of these effects. Also, you can spell some monsters rest turns at water. Only if he has a level until the end of this turn. Becomes that level. Becomes the same as that monsters. Uh, spell that monster in defense position if you have an Umi. You can banish this card from your graveyard. Target one Umi in your graveyard and add it to your hand. You can only use each of these effects once per turn. Okay, so this card doesn't really do anything to help my strategy. Warrior of Atlantis? I can't because this is the anti-spell event. Okay, one Witch's Strike? I do know Witch's Strike is garbage. Oh wait, in this event that might actually work. Which is Strike? Because there's lots of negates going around. I'll play one just for funsies. Don't ask, we've learned not to ask a while ago. Wait, don't ask what? It can be searched by summoning and milling a water monster. Solemn Strike, Legendary Fisherman, Tornado Wall. I'm not going to play Tornado Wall. Lord of the Heavenly Prison. I have three copies of Lord of the Heavenly Prison in here. About this whole thing. What? This deck is amazing. You guys are making fun of me. No, wait, I don't go to level 7 or higher. Goddess. Okay, Anti Spell Festival. Umi Control. Let's go. Let's 
why is Summon Limit not banned in this event? Because it's a bad floodgate. I won a game with 1,000 life points because Witch Strike this event. Was so happy to get activated just once. With all the Solemns running around, I think it might be able to be activated. <gasps> Ooh. I drew into three of my Umis. One, two, three. Hopefully they don't have Harpy's Feather Duster. Are you going to try Pokemon TCG Live? What's that? They should have unbanned Imperial Order. Oh, I agree. Dude, so... This morning... I woke up... And I was like, I'm going to... Be productive today. I'm gonna read my scripts early. Because I have a quota where I like to read two scripts every day. I'm going to do them first thing in the morning. So I start reading my scripts. And like... I, it, was, it was just a little bit earlier than normal. And I just had so much brain fog. I just couldn't do it. My brain was just like not working. I kept slurring all my R's and S's. I kept messing up just very simple words and I was like damn I really need to just like I need like two hours to let my brain get started before I have I can get to work or I before I can get to recording audio otherwise I'm just like all three maidens <laughs> yeah. otherwise I'm just unfunctional I had no idea it was that bad. I was like, I was, I was just trying to say very simple things, but I kept messing them up. And I was like, man, I had no idea my brain was just this bad in the morning. Personal spoofing? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Should I bring out Paleozoic Olenoids? No, I'll save it. Mood, so much brain frog, I make Silent Hills jealous these days. Yeah, it was just like, does the story end with fuck you clown? No. It ends with me. Did they just search out multi-faker? Activate the effect of Forgotten Temple. Wait, is this during the end phase? This is during the end phase. I can't use the effect during the end phase. Hi, Dulogs. Do you drop the Pokemon Nuzlocke? No. It's still going. I listen to you narrate other people's top tens? No, you wouldn't. Holy shit, I'm so close to being done with this event. Me too. He's gonna bounce that to the hand, target my Kragan, chain Forgotten Temple. Activate Olenoids! Hello, Mr. Logs. I'm visiting New York right now. Excellent. I woke up 17 hours ago. I think my brain's re ready to start for the day. Dude, I was just like... I had no idea my brain fog would be that bad. Oh, it's only level 4 or lower fish, sea serpent, or aqua type monsters. It doesn't work on my Kragan, who just got bounced. I copied Umi Control and Super Fun, but so painful at the same time. Electric Jellyfish doesn't negate traps. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately not. At least this event wasn't ranked. Oh, <gasps> I mean, do you play ranked normally? Are we ham boned? Yeah, like I just lost my Kragan. And they have their, their combo set up. Their resource loop. I'm screwed. Why don't you ever show your f FA on your Discord besides random episodes of 5Ds? What? The link won. At least this event wasn't ranked. Hmm? 
Oh, right, because the Link one was ranked. That one was annoying. I think he means your face? I don't think so. I think he meant something else. I think maybe they meant... Why don't you... Talk for the Discord, I guess? This event has been better than Link 1, but still not very fun. None of the events are fun. They all suck. Haha. Ha. Now his effects negated and he has zero attack. Get crunked. Wait, what's the activation requirement on this? Oh, it's just a monster attacking. That's it. Yeah, people always say every event is all for worse than the last one. That's because they all do suck. You just play them for the gems. That's it. You don't play them to have fun. The NR Festival was cool. That was the worst one. Yes, that's what I mean. That's what what means. Why don't I talk in the Discord? Because I'm busy. Ghost Bell. Ooh. He keeps negating all my shit. Ooh, Metal Reflex Slime. They can just bounce that shit, though. Eh, whatever. To be honest, there's no bigger disappointment than the implementation of the team match mode. What even is team match mode? Oh, I'm just gonna quit out. I don't wanna deal with his bullshit. He has a huge card advantage over me. And I'm already playing a shitty deck and he's playing basically his at full power. The 3v1s? The one with the most wins, wins. That's team mode. I know what team mode is. I don't feel like NR would be as good as before. As good? Did we play the same event? The NR festival sucked. It was just Megalith. Megalith and Metal Foes. And what was it, True Draco 2 occasionally? What exactly was fun about that? Did you play Megaliths, Metal Foes, and or True Draco? Is that why you had so much fun? Because I didn't play any of those decks, so it was terrible. Just Megalith sounds good to me. <laughs> no, the thing is, if you didn't play one of those three decks, you just got blown out. Because, like, those three decks were just so much stronger than everything else. That it was, like, you know, just wasn't even fair. You did not have the proper cards to deal with those archetypes. If Megalas went first, you just lost your entire board. You can't do anything about it. Like, what exactly is fun about just getting blown out by three decks? Because nothing else can possibly compete with them. And everybody's playing them. It was a terrible event. Unless you were playing one of those three events. Were you playing one of those three decks? Because I wasn't. Another one? Another goddamn Altergeist deck? Is it the same person as last time? I played Orcus and it was fine. You played NR Orcus? I mean, you can say about other events too, like the Synchro event was all sorts of. I do say that about the other events. I say they all suck. Limit one was just a zoo fest. Honestly, this event was exciting. A lot of Jinzo. I haven't seen a single Jinzo. I hate the single event. I didn't like any of the events. They all suck. <laughs> you just play them for the gems. I'm surprised to see anyone who actually likes any of the events. It's like, what exactly about it do you like? Were you playing one of the overpowered decks and destroying everyone else? Maybe that's what it was. 
the self TK event was the best event? True. The very first one. Jinzo sucks without his spell cards. I could play a Jinzo deck. All I have to do is believe in myself. That's why the Link one sucks. Deck building for this event was the worst. Just play for the gems and get out? Yeah, you just play for the gems. So, the people who were fans of the NR Festival. Were any of you guys who were fans of the NR Festival playing something besides Metal Foes? Or Megaliths? Because I think that's probably why you like the event so much, because you were playing Megaliths or Metal Foes. You played Black Luster? And you had fun in the event? I played Ghost Trick Small. <laughs> the thing is, none of these decks can work against Megalith. Megalith just destroys all your shit. You can't possibly set up because they don't have hand traps. If Megalith goes first, you're just screwed. There's nothing you can do. Heck yeah. Egyptian God Slime. Adar was great because it was affordable. It was affordable to just play Megalith. Wow, how fun. Blazing Mirror Force. Oh my god. And Multifaker. I only encountered three Megalith decks during the whole NR event. I encountered like 20 of them. It was a nightmare. Unless you specifically drew into Forbidden Chalice, you were going to get your whole field blown up. During your turn, so you couldn't do anything about it. I experienced the most diversify in the NR event. My NR event was Megalith and occasionally Metal Foes. Are we losing? Yes. This deck is bad and I keep getting... This is the second Alter Geist in a row. How about limit one? What about limit one? God damn it, could he at least not take fur with his turns or just win faster? Freaking Altergeist. After you've lost, you have to wait a couple of turns before they have finally get the damage and to beat you. This is the second best event after the Synchro Axes one, and we hate them all. <laughs> Limit 1, aka your normal jack is just way more inconsistent. Ooh. At least I'm drawn into Umi every time. I'm just not drawn into any of the other Umi monsters that are kind of required for this deck to work. Look at his name, Surrender, please. No. Ooh, a kaiju. At least they banned enough floodgates where it's not a elf lich fest. I guess. Why does it keep asking me if I want to activate my cards like over and over? At least you have a water now? I know, right? Parallel Exceed. Ooh, they're going for the full combo. Except I have Solemn Judgment. Is Jinzo banned in the event? I don't think so. I 
Did someone explain how crazy expensive dual links can be? It's not that bad. As long as you're not trying to build every single deck in the game. You can't wait for the single type. You're going to play nothing but plunders and probably rage like crazy. Or just play Sword Soul Math my way to easy win. Wait, they have a single type event? The problem is Jinzo is only available as awful packs. So you basically got to get the dust for the card. He's just his SR. That's not even hard to get out. Kind of surprised no Super Heavy Sams because they don't use back row. That's well, because Super Heavy Samurai suck. Yay, I finally won with Umi Control. Everyone has like 50 SRs they can disenchant right now. Imagine complaining about SR dust. Psh, SR dust? Hazukashi. Oh no, I don't have any Umis. I can bring out my Kairu Shin, but I don't have any Umis. Jinzo doesn't help too much with decks that are like honestly not caring about the traps. It's really heavy hand trap fest. Yeah, nobody's even playing trap decks. Maxi. Okay, my one summon for the turn. Tremora. Thanks for the sub, Meltrice14. <gasps> Can I use the effect? Even if Umi's not in the field? Ooh. You can add from your deck one Umi, one Kyrshin spell trap, or one Sea Stealth spell trap. You can only use the effect once per turn. I can't do shit. I don't have any of my Umis. To add the weather forecast, Master Duel, my painters need some love. What's the weather forecast? Damn, you can't search temple. Yeah, unfortunately not. I think there's a card in the game that lets you search out a card with Umi in its text, but I'm pretty sure that's a spell card. What did they just use? Tri Brigade? Whoa. To put your points in Master Duel? I already have. Allows you to use continuous spellless traps as link materials. Oh, that would be really good for weatheries. Um, uh oh. While Umi is on the field, it gains these effects. I can't even use his effects. Well, I'm ham boned. Did you know that every 24 hours a day passes? No, it doesn't. I've never seen a day before in Australia. That sounds made up. So he has Keras and Kit. Wait, why is he trying to use the effect if the effect is negated? <gasps> Hopefully he goes for like four and gets rid of a bunch of cards for no reason. Nice Umi you have there. Oh my god, he actually did it. Oh no, he only banished three. He thinks it's pre errata. Yeah, he thinks it's pre errata cat. Dang, look at how many cards he had in the graveyard, too. What type is the monster that's treated as Umi? Aqua, I believe. Try Brigade for Jit. I really need an Umi card in order to have Kairi Shin live. It's made time? Okay. Here you go. <gasps> Did he just special summon Nerval from his hand? Let's get rid of everything. 
including my Kyrushin. Sea Stealth isn't treated as Umi? No. It just lets you activate an Umi from your hand or graveyard, I believe. I can't play Umi Control. I haven't been able to have any of the Umi cards as well as the Umi monsters at the field at the same time. No, the trap requires Umi. <gasps> Mega Fortress Whale! Special Summon Egyptian God Slime. Okie dokie. Took me forever to learn that Torrential is a wave, is it? Is it just a big old wave? Torrential Tribute. Damn it. Thanks for the sub, Canadian Dynamites. It's, you know, a torrent. A torrent of what? Water? Looks like a wave crashing? I guess. This is kind of weird to me. Maybe wish there was more Umi traps? I know, right? I can't believe there's only one Umi trap card. They need like three more. Um, well, I'm ham boned. I didn't think they would negate my summon like that. I need to build a different deck. This one's not working. And after I spent so long building it, I didn't, I barely drew into any of my ice jades. I thought they would contribute a lot more. Okay, well, I have no ideas for a deck. What should I build? Magic Cylinder Turbo? No, that's really bad. Hmm, Ghost Tricks? No. Paleo Chickens? Paleo what? A Jinzo deck? Skull Servants? The Dolce Stall? Let's go. Trap Trick? I don't know about Trap Trick. I could play Trap Trick, but I don't really want to, though. Sue Ships? No. Uruai? Uriai? Uria? Deep Sea Diva? Ooh. Ugh. Try a Jinzo deck since everybody's asking about it. Necrofusion DPE. <laughs> Vampires. Uh, if a trap card is face up on the field or in either graveyard, you can spell some of this card from your hand, and if you do, it becomes level 6 until the end of this turn. During the main phase, quick effect, tribute this card, spell some in one Jinzo from your hand or graveyard, then you can destroy all traps your opponent controls. If a card is set, reveal it. You can activate the effect once per turn. Oh. <gasps> Waltz is literally the worst card of the archetype. What about Waltz? Golden Lord Fusion Turbo? You can't. We'll play a full Jinzo deck. Even Jinzo Lord. And it becomes level 6 until the end of this turn. Tribute this card, spell some Jinzo from your hand or graveyard. Level six. I'm looking for a specific card. Here it is. Psychic Shockwave. One Lord is good. Lord of the Heavenly Prisons? What about Tragodia instead? Play Linear Equation Cannon? No. Jinzo plus Uria. I don't know about that. 
These are all of my Jinzo cards. Are there any ways to make these decks more playable? No, because all the cards are banned. Hmm, Gores? You guys have terrible suggestions. If you control a machine monster, change your opponent's attack points uh, to defense position. Also, until the end of this turn, for monster normal special summon, change them to defense position. Yeah, let's play Pulse Wave. And then Boral. No, not Boral. Barrel. Barrel Desperado Barrel Dragon. At three copies. Because we're playing lots of dark machine monsters. This card becomes Jinzo. Scrap Recycler. Is that... Let's see. Scrap Recycler. He's an earth machine though. I want different machines. Dangers into Saryuja. Blast Spider. <laughs> I'm not going to play Blast Spider. Desperado. Why is Desperado you are? I could play the Scrap Engine. The Scrap Engine comprises of Scrap Recycler, Scrap Raptor, Scrap Wavern, and Scrap Fridge. However, I don't remember how to do it. Has redeemed ad time? Alright, here you go. No scrap chimera? No. Rosenix? Oh, right. Rosenix. I don't remember how to do the scrap combo, though. Slot machine times three. Uh, that's a new... Okay. Use the far. Is there a video on the scrap engine? Oh, it's in my to-do list. I haven't done it yet. I don't remember what it is. Black Salvo. Uh, you're welcome for the ads. Yeah, you're welcome for the ads. I need more trap cards. What are the best trap cards in the game? Oh, <gasps> there's this one. Ooh, there's this one too. Oh my goodness gracious, there's infinite and permanence. And then there's evenly matched, and then there's heavy storm duster. I love ads, me too. Threatening roar. <laughs> we could play a small paleo engine. But the thing is, we're trying to lock down traps. Ooh, the tenyes. I could run some tenyes in here. Ooh, Gizmic Orochi. I could run the Gizmic Orochis. Let's see, what are some dark machine monsters? Um, I'm gonna remove the scrap stuff. I don't know how to do the engine. Dark machine. Oh, <gasps> Cyberstein. Hell yeah, let's add Cyberstein in here. By banishing three different mech lords. The Cyberdarks? Gross. Who plays Cyber Darks on purpose? Wait, wasn't this one semi-limited? Hmm, is Royal Decree banned? I don't know. Black Salvo. This can let me go into a decent card. Okay, these are all the other ones. <gasps> what about the one who destroys trap cards when they're activated? That one's hilarious. A spell card. There's one who destroys traps every time they're activated. Is it this one? No, it's this one. Once per turn, when you put access to the trap card, destroy the trap card and then inflict 100 damage to your opponent's life points. Yeah, trap reactor. And he has 800 attack points, which is bad. Super heavy samurais? Uh, I don't know how that would help with this deck. Okay. And then we have all of these other cards, which I could just run, what's that? Threat, Tanin, how do you spell threat? Oh, cause it's set to that. Threat, 
threatening roar. And then a paleo package. We'll run... Let me remove all my other cards. I don't need them. So, we'll run triple Dinomishkis, triple Marel, triple Olenoids, and triple Canadia, and then one Rise to full heights. Okay. And we'll remove one of those. Actually, we'll just go down to two Marels. One Marels. Logs, I mentioned Scrap Recycler because it can send Returner and Revive Jinzo that way. No, I know. Uh, I just don't really care about that very much. I was thinking about just removing Returner because he's not very good. Let me remove all this scrap stuff before I forget. The scraps are garbage. Okay. Okay. So this is my deck. It looks amazing. How do I make this better? I have the Jinzo Lord. I have Desperado Barrel Dragon. This is full of high URs. Waking the Dragon? I don't know about that. Psychic Shockwave seems like it's amazing. I need to remove some monsters. Maybe I'll remove two of the Gizmex. I need three Desperado Barrel Dragons. I'm running nothing but Dark Machines. Your opponent controls more Spell Traps. Jinzo Ejector. Black Salvo can let me go into... Samurai Destroyer. Too many traps for a Jinzo deck. I need them. I'm nothing without them. Hmm. Except to attack that monster. The Call of the Haunted? Mm, I don't know about that. Let's see. We're at 44 cards. This is probably good. If a trap is on the field or in either graveyard, special summon this card from your hand. And if you do, during your main phase, tribute this card, special summon one Jinzo from your hand or graveyard. Then you can destroy all traps your opponent controls. You can only use the effect once per turn. During the main phase. Okay. How do I get Jinzo in the grave? It seems as if this card comes with Jinzo on the field of the graveyard. You can tribute this card, add a Jinzo monster from your deck to your hand, except Jinzo Ejector, then reveal all set cards upon spell trap zones. If there's any traps, special summon Jinzo from your hand. <gasps> oh, Jinzo Ejector gets him out. Naturia Exterio? Yeah. Naturia Exterio. And then we also have um, Last Warrior. And then we have the Cyber Dragons. Wait, can't one of these, like, uh, by tributing one level 10 or lower Cyber Dark Monster with equipped with the Cyber and Dragon? No, I can't do that. Cyber Dragon to Mega Fleet or as a tribute fodder? Wait, what? Cyber Dragon to Mega Fleet. Add and special Cyber Dragon to Mega Fleet. Armageddon, Peaceful, Scrap Recycler, all send Jinzo. I guess I'll play one Scrap Recycler. A single Scrap Recycler. We'll remove two copies. I should just remove Trap Reactor altogether. But I kind of like it. I think he's funny. Needlebug Nest for Jinzo. <laughs> that wouldn't be half bad with all the Paleozoics. <gasps> the Paleozoics. I need to play the Paleozoics cards. Pay. Oh, let's play one of these too. Let's remove one of these. Paleo. We'll play one of these, one of these, two of these, two of these. Toad. Fuck all you guys! Fuck you all! I hope I fucking go to hell! Yeah, you tell him, Pomu. How do you spell Calvary? Is it Calv? Or is it Calv? Cal How do you spell Calvary? Cavalry. Oh, Cav. It's Caval. Cavalry. Okay, and then we have a Zeus. Uh, I forget I spelled it that way. Kazukashi. Link monsters. Are there any dark machine link monsters? <gasps> Ooh, there are a couple. 
two monsters with different names. Okay, that's useless. That's useless. These are all useless. Two machine monsters. Wait, wait. During your main phase, if you control this Link Summon card, activate this effect. Cannot summon from your extra friends this turn, except for X machine Xyz monsters. Also, take one gimmick puppet monster from your deck and either add it to your hand or send it to the graveyard. Then, if all monsters you control are gimmick puppets, but also one gimmick puppet monster from your hand. Okay, these all suck. You can go into Dengursu? No. Down Nerd Magician? Oh, yeah, Down Nerd Magician. Type in Nerd. Okay, and then what I need are some Synchros. Uh, Synchros, level 7. What's a level 7 Synchro monster that's decent? Just kidding, I know what I'm doing. I'm a genius. Okay, are there any Dark Machine level 7 Synchros? Machine. Ooh, Dark Strike Fighter. Clear Wing. Power Tool Mech Dragon. Ooh, ooh, Dark Strike Fighter it is. Okay, uh, I don't need Last Warrior from another planet. Uh, I don't need two copies of this. Okay, what else do we have? Level 3 plus that. We can go into a level 9. Ooh, are there any good level 9 Synchro Monsters? <gasps> no. Let's remove the machine dark aspect from it. Iron Chains? No. Kyubi Shenshien? What about Hot Red Dragon Archifine Abyss? Do any of these have dark synergies? Uh, one non-dark tuner dragon. No, not really. We'll just add Shen Shen, I guess. Gene Raider is level 9. Okay. So we have that. What about 3 plus... Hmm, well, it usually just goes into 7. I have two 7s already. Two pretty good 7s. They're both machines as well. Okay. This should be good. I uh, just took out two Solemn Judgments. I trapped Jake's deck was ready for the event. Really? That's basically full power then. Okay, I'm not forgetting anything, am I? I have all the level 2s for the Paleos. I have the Synchros for the Black Salvo. I have the Fusions for the one Cyberstein, which I'll probably never draw into. This is good enough. Batch generate all cards. Oh my god, 120? Oh, I'm poor. I'm poor. Is this how you guys feel? Oh, I'm basically poor now. I'm chat. No hand traps? No. Would some orgs work in the event? Probably. <gasps> Going first. I wish I had 300 UR mats. Oh. I had to use 120 of my URs for this gimmick deck. Are you happy, chat? Is this how you guys survive? Wait, is my mic loud? I gotta turn it up a little bit. Hello there, can you hear me? It is I, the dual lag. Coming at you again. Okay, it should be good. Max C? <laughs> You buffoon. Tribute Jinzo. Select a card to add from your deck to your hand. Okay. Hey, I have a trap card in the field. Let me use my trap card. No fair. I never had much UR to spend anyway. Is that the Jinzo? Ugh, I have a trap card on the field. I never have that UR to spend that much money anyway. Just pull Gotcha and Dust, you only lost 3k? Yeah, I only lost 3k last month, it was amazing. Magician Souls? Summon one Dark Magician or Dark Magician Girl from your deck and or graveyard. The dual logs, more like the poor logs. <laughs> Shut up. I'm trying my best. I'm just gonna use this now. Paleozoic, Marella, Marella. I can send a Paleozoic or I can send Rise to full height to protect myself. 
from a battle. If I have a monster on the field. You're my favorite non-VTuber streamer? Why, thank you. You have to be the only person who's ever said that. You know, it really feels like they have not released Jinzo so early. He'd have been a psychic type. Yeah, psychic was the very first type they added to the game. Some fun fact. So, I have something that I wanted to talk about on Twitter the other day. I saw a content creator who... Oh, ooh, I can bring out the Psychic Mega Fleet. Special summon. So he made like a Twitter post where he basically like clapped back at someone who was making fun of him for using clickbait. Someone in one of his comments is like, man, I miss your old videos before you used to clickbait or, or something like that. And his comment was basically like, you know, this is just what I do to get to get views. This is how I do it. Everybody does it. All my friends do it. If you don't like it, unsubscribe now and unsubscribe for all my friends channels too, because I don't want you here. And then there was a lot of other creators who like were giving him praise. It's like, wow, you tell him. I was like, am I the only one who thinks that that was an over exaggeration? Like the, the, the original comment was like one sentence long and it wasn't even that bad. And there were a lot of people who were agreeing with him and I was like, yeah, he was going hard <laughs> to it. <laughs> ending nightmare? That ain't gonna do nothing except give me Marrell. Marella. Someone has an inferiority prompted being over dramatic for no reason. I think it's there was lots of other like popular content creators commenting on the post too. Like, yeah. You tell him. I was like Ugh. So I typed out a reply, but I didn't send it. And then I typed out another reply and then I didn't send that one either. I typed out lots of replies and I didn't send any of them. Ooh, I can go into Xian Shin. Oh, I can also go into the Samurai Destroyer. Hell yeah. What does Samurai Destroyer do again? Hi, Xian Shin. Uh, if this card's battles, your opponent cannot activate the effects of cards until the end of the damage step. <laughs> so I can just plow through Lemon Magician Girl. Or I can plow through Dark Magician so that he can't destroy my Morella. Whatever, I'm gonna plow through the Dark this girl. Because their whole thing is being hard to destroy by battle. Okay, Psychic Shockwave, which I can't use. Excellent. Type to release distress and then not send it. True. <laughs> Maybe the content creator simply got annoyed from multiple comments at that time that one sent them off. Uh, thanks for the gifted sub terabyte. No, the thing is, like, I get those comments too. I appreciate logs. You don't post cheap content like replay watching. <gasps> Should I watch replays? Do you guys have any replays? So, like, uh, I get those comments too. And, like,. I used to clap back too. I used to do starky comments back at people. And then I kind of just like grew out of it. I, I don't know if that's the correct way to put it. But I just came, I, I did it enough times where it just doesn't solve anything. It makes you feel a little bit better. But basically you're just yelling into the void because you're still going to get the same comments again. And it just looks bad on you if people screenshot your comments, because people will screenshot your comments. So, like, there's no point in doing it. But also, like, the comment that that person clapped back to wasn't even that bad. It was basically just like, I wish you didn't do clickbait. But slightly more snarky than that. And then they had the whole thing, like, well, unsubscribe and unsubscribe for all my friends' comments. And I was like, here's the thing, like, if, if you do clickbait, that is the kind of comments, that's the trade-off. Like, clickbait, he was 100% right. Like, you do have to clickbait. Not clickbaiting and like, YouTube is like, not playing hand traps in competitive Yu-Gi-Oh! Or like, going second cards. Or floodgates. You know, you have to play one of those three in order to be successful. You can't just neglect them. It's impossible. But the thing is, like, if you do play them, if you do invoke and clickbait, 
just don't get mad when people don't like it because that is like the trade-off with it that's the cost-benefit analysis like those are the detriments of using clickbait the reason you do it is because the benefits far outweigh those negatives it is totally worth it to have a couple of people upset in order for the mass amounts of views you get like and re reply but because there's a trade-off you really shouldn't get mad when people invoke the trade-off when people mention it when people actually like do the negative because like yeah of course there's gonna be comments like that however the benefits far outweigh those 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 comments because like who cares it's not even a lot of people most people understand most people understand you know that's just how you get the clicks as long as the video is good they don't really care if the video is bad then they do care that's why i don't get a lot of comments like that i do get them occasionally but like only occasionally most of the time people just like the videos they really don't care in my case because i think the videos i make are good so if you do get comments like that a lot maybe you're clickbaiting and also the videos aren't very good <laughs> clickbait started with content forms they start swarm youtube and then algorithms start favoring clickbait titles so if creators don't get with their videos they'll get buried yeah like you have to do it you have to basically the reason you do it is because you want good marketing and a clickbait title it's just a catch-all term for good marketing you know like obviously you want good marketing obviously you want something that attracts people into it but you can't lie to people either you know uh cannot be normal summon quick effect you can target one machine monster you control and destroy it Ooh, cool Paleozoic Dinomishkis. Let's banish this card. I don't want to deal with this card for the rest of the game. Paleozoic Dinomishkis. We'll put a Jinzo in the grave. Don't get mad. Get good. I mean, there are content creators who post on YouTube videos and watch the replays. It's not even their own game. Yoink. I'll delete YouTube the day I see the dual logs exposed videos. Hmm, behind the scenes, I have to tell you guys, unfortunately. Behind the scenes, I'm rather nice to people I interact with. I know. It's crazy. However, sometimes people will just lie. Do you guys remember the pro Jared situation? And pro Jared was a prominent YouTuber prominent gaming youtuber with like a million subscribers and he got canceled on twitter because his wife put out a huge expose on him and then he didn't say anything about it and then like two months later he came he came out with a video with like evidence to disprove everything she said and the like his canceling videos blew up they did super well they they got they did the round they went all over the place he lost like a quarter million subs because everybody unsubscribed and then he made his his video which basically disproved everything and you know barely a blip people barely noticed the video and people still think you know they just like oh if you talk about it it was like oh the guy who did all those terrible things to his wife and all those people he interacted with. Yeah, it was basically just all lies. And I was like, whoa. So, you know, never say never, even if you're a nice person. You don't do anything wrong. If you just piss off one person who just really doesn't like you. That, that's probably done so. Jared is still one of the top three YouTubers. Uh, during the main phase, quick effect, tribute this card, spells on a Jinzo monster from your hand and graveyard, then destroy all trap cards. What is the, this, can, what does this one do when this card declares an attack? Uh, while you control Jinzo, you can tribute this card, then place a monster. Oh, I need Jinzo in order to do that. Jinzo from the grave. Okay. Ooh, Jinzo Jector too. I still have my normal summon. Jinzo. <gasps> Ooh, I can go into Jinzo Lord. Oh, I'm going to do that. I'm going to go into Jinzo Lord. But after I steal his card, 
I'm going to attack. Activate his effect. When he declares an attack, he tributes himself. And then he puts it over here. Has a continuous trap card who is now negated. <laughs> and then if I summon Jinzo Lord, I'll destroy it. So I don't want to do that. Nope, that was one of the rumors spun by his ex. I remember the Pro Jared story. He slept with his friend's wife, though, right? Uh, he did, but, like, you know, it's because she wouldn't divorce him. What a ridiculous removal effect. I know, it's so good. Yeah, don't piss off your wife. <laughs> yeah. That's why, whatchamacallit, divorce. Uh, you need a lawyer to get a divorce. Divorce lore stories. There's like a whole bunch of them, but like people just being super petty about it. Because there's lots of emotions involved. The whole situation around him is so stupid because he had no proof and people just jumped to believe his ex for no reason. Yeah, that's how it is every time someone gets canceled, though. And the thing is, do you guys remember the whole thing with Jada recently? And like the Yu Gi Oh community? He put out a video where he was making a lot of accusations to other prominent Yu-Gi-Oh! YouTubers. And then it turns out almost none of them were true. Jada. Uh, JC Gato. He was a, he was a smaller um, Yu-Gi-Oh! creator, but he like accused, you know, uh, Farfa being like transphobic. And when that first happened, there were people on Twitter who were like, man, why don't all of the big content creators talk about this? This is such a huge issue. We're going we're gonna to talk to all of them. They should all have something to say about this. This is disgusting that this, this behavior has, has gone un, 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 you know, addressed. All of the big content creators are cowards for not speaking up about this. You know, indirectly, they were talking about me as well. And I was like, I don't know the whole story. Jada is a woman. Wait, did I misgender him by accident? Oh, I just did again. Uh, her, I should say. My apologies. Wasn't she a woman? Yeah, she. She. Sorry, I've known her for a long time, so... Be before the, the transition. I don't follow drama like that. Uh, it was like all over, you know, the big Yu-Gi-Oh sphere because they were like really on the big Yu-Gi-Oh YouTubers, you know, to say something about it. And I didn't say nothing. Mainly because you just don't know the full context yet and I don't think it's a good idea to immediately jump into things. Especially after what happened with Pro Jared. I was like, if this is all true, then yeah, that's pretty bad. And uh, generally, the people who jump on it immediately are, uh, you know, you should be a little bit wary that they'll immediately try to do calls of actions to people without any real proof or sides of the story. So, like, if someone's being canceled and people are immediately jumping onto it without any proof. It's like, oof. The thing is too, if you're in the process of someone being canceled on Twitter, there's nothing you can really say which will appease the people. You could be like, here, I have actual photo evidence that this person is wrong and what they said is not true. They just won't believe you. Like, they just want to be mad. That's why it's also best just not to say anything. There's nothing you can really do. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> like, I've seen those. Uh, I, I've been around this fear for a while, and, I, and I've seen it happen. I've seen it happen to friends, too. And I was like, I know for a fact this is all just wrong, but they don't care. They just want to be mad. And Twitter wants to be mad? Exactly. Oh, Jinzo. I'm too busy for that kind of drama. Yeah, exactly. It's 
Sounds like your average day in the VTuber community. Does it happen a lot in the VTuber community? All right, thanks for the raids, Cat Knight and Vati4554. Dual Arts, what would you do if someone who was known for talking crap about other gamers tried stealing your dual disc? I would challenge them to a duel. Activate the effect of Rise to Full Heart. Target one monster, double its defense, then it becomes zero at the end of the turn. Activate Paleozoic Dynomischkis. Do, 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 do. Oh, wait, don't I need to have a trap card in the field to use the effect? Uh oh, now I can't use Jinzo the Machine Menace anymore. Activate the effect of Rise to Full Height on my Jinzo. Okay, then activate his effect to remove himself from the field to bring out Jinzo from the graveyard. And now, if I know my rulings correctly, he can't attack this turn. So there's this cashier girl that I saw at the supermarket today that I could have sworn I saw before. She looked like the girl that I met in high school that absolutely hated me because she thinks I'm weird. So I got nervous and didn't say anything. What should I say next time? I was at the supermarket with my dad. If you think she hates you and you don't have to talk to her, then probably just don't talk to her. Oh, uh, how the fuck do I get rid of this card? A level eight. Ooh, I have two level eights. If I was running Dingursu, I could have went into something. God damn it, why did he kaiju me? You say absolutely nothing. I mean, like, I wanted to say something, but I got nervous. We'll just talk normally, then. Unless you have some reason to talk to her. I met in high school, but I actually hated me because she thinks I'm weird, so I got nervous and didn't say anything. I mean, you could just say hi. It doesn't really matter. Hmm, I'm trying to think through my plays. He has a Time Lord. He's going to get returned to his deck. Oh, I have a Canadian. I can just flip it. Let's tribute by Dinomischkis for... Oh shit, now I can't use my own card. Yeah, just don't be nervous. No wait, Kaiju isn't maidenless. Kaiju and the monster is maidenless. Now I have another Jinzo on the field. He can't use any of his traps and he... How does he not have any set cards on his field? Congratulations, you played yourself. Like, don't Time Lords play a whole bunch of freaking traps? No, I said I tried. Activate Reflect Browner. Destroy both the attacking card and this one. Oh, I should've just let that go through so it could've bounced all my cards. Damn it. Is about to end his or her turn. Activate the effect of a card. My own Jinzo screwed me. Jinzo, the Machine Menace. Oh wait, if a trap card is face up on the field or in either player's graveyard, spell some of this card from your hand. Do I not have any traps in the graveyard? Ugh. Flip him face down, now we have a trap in the graveyard so I can go into Jinzo the Machine Menace. Okay, and then, spell some of this card from your hand, tribute this card, destroy all traps your opponent controls, if any, and then bring out Jinzo. From the graveyard. Destroy cards, yes. <laughs> Alright, I guess he can just flip the card face up. And if I attack into him, he's going to be able to activate the effect either way. But he has a card in the field, so he can't bring out another one. He's just standing there menacingly. Ugh, there's not much I can do versus the Time Lords. Other than hope I draw into the one card that has that weird form of removal. The, the Mega Cyber. Oh yeah, he has his... His Kaijus. I forgot that was a thing he could do. Okay, he's going to attack for no reason. Oh goody, another Kaiju. Oh, he can just bounce his Kaiju to his hand. Are you doing WoW tonight? No. Oh, and since he doesn't destroy my cards, I can't even use Desperado Barrel Dragon. 
Time Lords are an automatic L on the other player. Do I have an out? I can. I can go into Divine Arsenal. Wait, how did I get rid of it on my first turn? I was able to stop exactly one of them. Oh, I had Dino Mishkis. Camion. So one card your opponent controls into the deck, and if you do inflict 500 damage to your opponent, neither player can activate cards and effects response to this. Uh huh. Lame Time Lord spotted. <gasps> oh fuck! I drew into another Jinzo. Samurai Destroyer can attack over this the Time Lords. Ooh, so I need to draw into. Wait, I don't think that works. He doesn't negate the effects of cards, does he? He just makes them not activate. Your opponent cannot activate cards or effects until the end of the damage step. Also, the opponent's monsters has his effects negated. Oh, Samurai Destroyer does work. Ooh, okay. God damn it. <laughs> Seriously? I drew into all of my Jinzos. Am I going to draw into my next Desperado Barrel Dragon next turn? Well, it's a good thing he bounced his own kaiju for no reason. Now he can't push for game. Raffion. This card battles and flick damage equal to the attack of one monster that battled it. Ooh, a Dino Mishkis. That could be useful if I had literally any other cards to take advantage of this. Would Assault Mode decks work in this event? <gasps> oh my god, Assault Mode does work in this event. I should build an Assault Mode deck. Zaphion, the Time Lord. Time Lords can't do anything if you simply just don't do anything yourself. Hmm. That's still not enough to push for game. As long as I don't put out any cards, I should be fine. I need to draw something that allows me to get big damage on board. Forever stuck on five cards. What are they going to do? Normal summon a non-Time Lord? Mr. Duologs, will Telenite pull an see play in the current meta in the T CG? I don't know, maybe. <gasps> Black Salvo! Finally, something I can use! Hopefully that face down card is not something that stops my cards. Empty machine. Yes, activate Canadia. Surely they'll run out of normal summons, right? No, not if their whole deck is Time Lords. What does this card do? And then draw one card, target one Time Lord monster in your graveyard, shove into the deck, then set one infinite machine. Discard one level 10 monster, then draw one card. Wait. Oh my god, Psychic Reflectors. Oh. Fuck. <laughs> he's not a dark machine, he's light machine. Literally the only light machine in my goddamn deck for no reason. Everything else is a dark machine except for him. Uh, and then set one infinite machine from your deck, blah blah blah, whatever. We need Blast Spider. Blast Spider wouldn't do anything versus this. Special summon one Time Lord monster from your hand. Zaphion returns. Main phase one. Is he going to activate his infinite machine? <gasps> A Valiance! Target one face up monster. Place one from your extra deck. Wait, why is he playing Valiance? You can banish the infinite machine? I could, but I'd rather banish the Time Lord. End phase? Um, okay. If you say so. Ooh, another Paleo. Um, 1400. I can go into Jinzo right now. to lock down that back row. Unless he has Solemn Judgment, which he probably doesn't have. Okay, and then we attack the Valiant monster with Jinzo, and then hit for 1200 damage. 
No, no, I hit end phase by accident. Oh well, I have. I don't need to set the other Dynomishkus. Having one in hand is fine. Do I have any more Paleos in the grave? No. 1200 big damage? It is 1200 big dam. Oh, fuck his Kaijus. I forgot about those. Oh no, now he can use his cards. Special summon one Time Lord from your hand. Whatever. An empty machine? Uh, another one? Okay, whatever. How many Kaijus does he have? He's shown that he has lots of Kaijus. He hasn't destroyed a single one of my cards. He just keeps Kaijuing them. Battle phase. Oh, he's gonna go for the Paleozoic. I'll just flip the card face down. He only has 2,100 defense. Gamma Seal can beat over that. They keep getting bounced. Yeah, exactly. They're getting bounced and all sorts of stuff. 2,700 attack. A Black Salvo. I still don't have any level 4 darks in the graveyard to take advantage of it. But I can bring out Jinzo for game. Let's tribute summon Canadia first to shut down those traps. Fuck. I forgot to use this first. Whatever. It's fine. It's good. I just could have won, but... I guess I'm not winning this turn. I can win next turn. He can't kaiju me again because I have a kaiju on the field. However, I can't stop his Time Lord because Jinzo stops my own protection. It's happening. Hopefully he doesn't... Bah. <laughs> Hopefully he didn't have a Meteon. <laughs> End phase. Would you like to activate the effect of a card? No, I don't. Oh my god. Just fucking. Why can't you just destroy my cards like a normal person? Yes, I'd like to activate Canadia from the grave and attack for game. And just summon Jinzo. And he got the kaiju back. It doesn't matter. Select a card to discard. Discard for effect. Normal summon Jinzo for 1,200 points of damage. Now he can't use his trap effects. Isn't this event fun? I bricked for like five turns. I had so many outs to his deck. Oh my goodness gracious. What was the other deck someone told me I could play? Check his deck. There was another deck you guys said I should try. Trap Trick? No, not Trap Tricks. This is just a standard Time Lord deck. Assault Mode! Yeah! Well, Assault Mode it requires some building. I ain't got time for Assault Mode stuff. Also, I need to use the restroom real quick. I'll be right back. Hello there, it is I, the Dual Lag. I am here to teach you guys about how to start a conversation. So, here, we're first we're gonna go over some some do's and some don'ts and some some other things to get to, to really know someone deep. Are you ever are you someone who is like, man, I wish I could talk to people, and make more friends, but I'm just terrible at having conversations because I'm a stupid idiot human. Well, let me let me give you some advice. First up, let's go over some don'ts. Do not ask someone, if you're t starting a conversation with them, what the weather's like. The weather is boring. Nobody cares. Also, don't ask them how they're doing. Because that's, um, you know, it has them like, they either have to lie to you or tell them they're doing good. And there's not much more to go with that. It's more of a greeting than it is a conversation starter. Also, don't ask them how their day is going. Because there's not much to talk about. What if you had a boring day? You don't really have anything to talk about. You'd be like, um, well, I had breakfast, I guess. Like, oh, that's neat. Uh, and also, don't ask them about their job. Nobody wants to, to talk about their job most of the time. All right, now let's go over some do's. How to start actual conversations. So, you can ask them, how was your week? If you ask them how their week, it's basically just an extension of how was your day, except there's actually something to think about. Because there's a lot more that happens within a week than there is in a day. 
So it gives them some opportunity to actually, you know, talk about something that you can expand upon later. You can also ask them, so did you watch anything interesting recently? You know, maybe you guys have a shared TV show. Maybe it can lead into other TV shows. Maybe you can learn about what they do for fun. It's like a lead in to, to hobbies because most people watch something, whether it be television, movies, or, you know, animated television. Then you can also say, so do you have any plans for this weekend and or the upcoming holiday season? Because usually people like to do stuff fun on the holidays or on the weekends. And if they don't, that's also another point you can talk about. It's like, no, I don't do anything. I'm just going to stay home and play World of Warcraft. It's like, whoa, that's what I do. We have a shared interest. Do you want to be best friends? And then we also have some more personal questions. We, we can go into even further. Like, what is the easiest way to break your trust? You can just get real personal with them. Or say... I hope you didn't learn anything good. How's the weather chat? What are you guys talking about? What is the easiest way to break your trust? Oh, I have a good one. You guys want to hear a terrible question to ask someone? Do you ever have dreams about dying? <laughs> Bring it back, I want to learn. Too bad. I had this dream last night. Where... I was doing payroll. And I had to pay for stuff. But my earnings for the month... Were like a third of what I usually make. But my payments were just as much as they are. I was like, oh my god, I'm losing so much money. This is crazy. How am I going to pay for this? And then I woke up and I was like, oh. It's not true. Thank goodness. The poor logs. <laughs> my dreams are always either me being late for something or it's literally the end of the world. Hell yeah. No in-betweens. Your opponent is about to activate the effect of a card. They're about to enter the battle phase. Would you like to activate the effect of your card? Yes. Uh, from your hand up to the number of monsters. Let's banish this one. We'll discard Janinzo. You can't do anything if your card is banished, you idiot, you buffoon. My dreams make no sense and are weird as heck. Welcome to the club. That's how most gyms dreams are. Most dreams don't really make much sense. My dreams tend to have a tendency to return me to education, even though I finished it a long time ago. Do you have dreams about going to school? Man, I've had one of those in forever. Uh, tribute one Jinzo, select a monster, add to your hand. Jinzo, check all cards. <gasps> Witch's Strike. Ooh, okay. Summon a monster to the field. He has Witch's Strike. I don't negate anything. That card is dead, bozo. No monster to special summon. I just special summon a monster, though. Kuruma Red. What? They came prepared. Raw or flavor wise. I had a friend who, after a night out, we'd cuddle and sleep in the same bed together. And he never told me that every time we did that, he had a nightmare where I killed him in a different horrific way. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Maybe someone has a, a problem. What is this, the kaiju event? Kaijus? My poor Jinzos, they can't do anything if you keep doing this to me. Is it the Duologs from the famous Duologs YouTube channel? Psh, I wish. Are there any Jinzo trap cards? 
It says you can add a Jinzo spell trap the specific list of card and attacks from your deck to your hand, but there are no Jinzo trap cards. I think. Add a Jinzo or a Jinzo spell or trap. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Paleozoic Morella. Enter the battle phase. Some of these cards have 2,000 defense, right? Yeah, that one has pretty high defense. Is that going to activate the card from their hand? Undominable, Abominable, Unchained. Special summon this card. Then it can also destroy a card in the field, but it's not going to, apparently. You can also consider Naturias. What? What about Naturias? That always happens to my Jinzo. He needs a discard for that. Oh, okay. You can discard one card to destroy one card in the field. Gotcha. Well, his, one of his face down cards allows him to do something with his unbombable Unchained. Wait, Unchained is happening? He's trying to make Unchained happen. Whether he's being successful or not is a, a different story entirely. No links slash XYZs? I do have links slash XYZs. They don't work. He's attacking. Would you like to activate the effect of a card? When another monster control is attacked by an opponent's monster, destroy both the attacking monster and this card. Reflect Bounder. This one doesn't have a floating effect, right? Yeah, literally unstoppable. It's my opponent's turn, right? I play on chains and it works. I remember one time I played against an Unchained player who just like played through three of my negates and still won. And I think he just drew like a perfect hand versus my hand. <clears throat> Your opponent is about to end his or her turn. Activate the effect of a card. Yes. I'll use Paleozoic Morella to summon Dynamishkis from the graveyard. Can Psychic Shockway be considered a Jinzo trap? No, because it doesn't list Jinzo in its name. Unfortunately. Is Unchained with Live Tones a good idea? I don't know. I don't know how Unchains work. <gasps> Lord of the Heavenly Prison? Well, shit, man. During the end phase, this card's in your graveyard because it was destroyed instead of this turn. Special summon it. But place on the bottom of the deck when it leaves the field. Oh, wow. He just got out two 3,000 attack beat sticks. Oh, yeah? Well, I have the Jinzo Lord. <laughs> Special summon Jinzo Lord. And negate all traps effect once per turn. You can destroy as many face up traps on the field as possible. Then inflict the range. God damn, this card sucks. Why does it only have 200 more attack? With all these goddamn freaking. For some reason, I thought he could destroy all face down traps and then gain attack points. That's not how his effect works at all. Another kaiju player? I need to play freaking Dengursu with all these kaijus I'm getting. Didn't put in defense position? Oh, I didn't even think about that. Yeah, that would have been a good idea. Good idea. Unfortunately, not my idea. You're going to attack that guy? I mean, go for it. Who is he going to attack? My Reflect Bouncer? Go for it. Attack everyone but my Gamma Seal. The one time my opponent played Kaiju by Gamma Seal, but did nothing he could do to beat over it. I mean, he, he he's playing a competent deck. He can probably get over it in like two seconds if he just 
tried very hard. <gasps> Yay, I have Jinzo Jector in the grave. Cool. Activate Black Salvo. Special summon Jinzo Jector in defense position. The Kaiju has 3k defense. I know it does. I'm a genius. Target one unchained monster you control, one card on the field, destroy both. Oh, fuck. That's what that card does. Why am I not playing any more links? I can't do anything with all these cards I have on the field because he keeps linking me up. He keeps mucking up my cards. Jinzo Jector. I play one Link monster and I can't even go into it because I never have two Paleos on the field at the same time. It's finger licking time. The battle phase. He can slowly pick away at my cards. Because he stopped my one synchro. But I couldn't even do anything, even if I he lived. Because all I have is Samurai Destroyer. If this face-up card leaves because of your opponent's card effect, target one machine monster in your graveyard and special summon it. You can still be destroyed by battle. Ooh, Scrap Recycler. That does nothing. Oh my goodness gracious, literally nothing. Oh, Jinzo Returner, that does something, kind of. Jinzo Returner, I can bring back Jinzo Jector. Then activate Jinzo Jector's effect to bring back a more permanent Jinzo. Oh. You can look through your opponent's cards, okay. Special summon a monster to the field? Sure, whatever. Huh, he's level 7. Then I can quick effect use his effect to bring out Jinzo from the graveyard, which does nothing because I don't have any fucking Link monsters. Oh, I'd much rather be able to use something that's not garbage right now. I'm just going to use it anyway. <laughs> Destroy a card. <laughs> Wait, what? I just destroyed a trap card? Okay, whatever. Who peeled you into Jinzo? I can't believe you guys tricked me into playing Jinzo for reals. They should add a new monster card type. They act like fusion monsters, but they exist in the main deck. They need to spell the monster and the specific name materials. The mechanic wouldn't be good because then we could say rituals aren't the worst summoning mechanics. You want them to add something worse than rituals? You see, they could probably do that because all they have to do is give those monsters very good effects. And then they would be peachy. I'll take the blame for the Jinzo deck, but that's the way it plays in the dual logs, dual logs. Ooh, another psychic shockwave that I can't use because I've I think I have all three copies of Jinzo in the grave already. Yep. This deck is missing an Unchained Abomination. Oh, if I draw into Desperado Barrel Dragon, that can allow me to plow through his cards. What's the out to 3k beater? I do have a couple of outs to it, I just haven't drawn into any of them. There's Desperado Barrel Dragon, there's Dino Mishkis, and there's the Fiend Mega Cyber. No, not my Paleozoic! Okay, well if I draw into the other card... An Olenoids... Why not play Resonators with nothing but Dark Synchro Dragons? That's just called playing Resonators. That's like Duel Links tech. Honestly, Unchained wouldn't be bad with just Jinzo nonsense. <gasps> this Jinzo deck sucks. I should just go back to playing... Turbo... Uh, 
I can't think. Why are you playing Lava Golem in this deck? Buster Blader? Turbo Trap, Umi Control. I already did Umi Control. How come their mom lets them have two Lords of the Heavenly Prison? I know, right? Lava Golem? Help, Lava Golem. I'm trying to sneak around, but the clap of my butt cheeks is making it difficult. <gasps> Fiend Mega Cyber! Oh my god, this was my out! It's too late, though. Cannot afford a Kaiju? How does he not have any plays for this long? What is his deck? Is he just bricking? I know Unchains aren't this bad. You didn't believe hard enough? I tried. I tried so hard to believe. Set one card you control, then destroy one card you control. <gasps> Is he going to destroy his own card? Hazukashi. <sighs> Oh, he protected it with his own Lord of the Heavenly Prison. Smart. <gasps> Is this game over? You fool. Then I can activate Marella. And then since it's not destroyed, it won't float. And now that Morella's dead, I got nothing. Because he can also just pop whatever I summon. <gasps> Ooh, Dino Mishkis. At least I can summon out the Fiend Mega. Wait, what? If your opponent controls more monsters, more spell traps than you do? Oh, no. He only has one spell trap, and I have one in the field. Fuck. Well, I'm dead. I don't know why I tried. Super Mario 2. The worst kid. You didn't believe hard enough. I tried to believe in myself, but it didn't work. Are you playing Jinzo Jector in your current deck? And if not, why are you not running it? It's rather absurd. It's probably over this event. I am playing Jinzo Jector in this deck. I've used it many times. It sucks. All these cards suck. They're terrible. Literally, worst cards ever. Ooh, I can use Psychic Shockwave. Discard Psychic Shockwave from my hand. Then I can activate Olenoids in the grave. Then I can activate Paleozoic Dinomishkus, targeting this card. <gasps> Select a card to discard from your hand. Ooh, I get another card on the field. Ooh, a Fiend Mega Cyber. It's technically a level 6 machine monster. Nice. Did he destroy his own card? Well, I'm dead either way. Why would you play Little Heavenly Prison with Unchained? It's almost anti synergy? I don't know. <laughs> Their deck isn't super good. This is marginally better than Voltic Bicorn Mill. You take that back. <gasps> I can play Thunderclap Skywolf. Why did none of you guys tell me to play the Thunderclap Skywolf deck? Oh my goodness. I have to play Thunderclap Skywolf. I did? No, you didn't. Literally none of you. You seem to be out of gas today, Mr. Logs. Are you tired? Yeah. No, don't use my cards to go into your Synchro Summon. I mean, Link Summon. Mm. 
<clears throat> Voltic Bicorn Mill was funnier. Oh, so I'm part of this event where we're going to do team battles. And I'm teamed up with Tina Chino and Miniful. Which deck should I play? This is a very serious tournament full of a whole bunch of other streamers. I was thinking about playing Crazy Box Turbo. Would you guys say that's a good idea? Life Point Gain Mill? There's a ban list. I probably can't play a lot of the floodgates required to play Life Point Gain Mill. Lavols? Jinzo? You said a serious tourney? Yeah, that's why I was thinking about Crazy Box Turbo. Because I I took a top eight spot in Leah's tournament with Crazy Box Turbo, so it's probably the best. Spriggans? No. Hmm, coin toss between Crazy Box and Umi Control. That's what I was thinking. I was like, either Crazy Box Turbo or Umi Control, because those are the two best decks I have. Create new. Eight person tournament? <laughs> no! <laughs> Shut up. My win was, you guys have no idea. It was a Swiss tournament. I literally went four and one. I won four games before I lost a single time, and then I made it to the top eight, and then I lost immediately. Like, Crazy Box Turbo was destroying all those other decks. Umi Control, my opinion. Yeah, I was thinking Crazy Box Turbo is probably the best way to go. Sky Wolf. Battery Man. Solar. Um. Mm, mm, what? Giraffe? What? 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 Giraffe? What? Pheasant? Ugh. Hunter? Hunter? Hunter, Hunter, um, Hunter Seahorse. Okay, and then we need traps to bring them back. Um, ooh, there is a trap card version of Fuller's Burial. Ooh, uh, 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 what's it called? What's the trap card version of Fuller's Burial? Yeah, the reason I played, uh,. Crazy Box Turbo in the tournament was specifically because they semi-limited it, so I had to play it just to prove them wrong. Tina's gonna play Dragon Maids? I think she was talking about maybe playing, um, something else. I forgot what it was. I think she said she was gonna play Marine Cess? Peaceful Burial? Oh, right. Peaceful Burial? Okay, and then we need Call of the Call of the Haunted um, Oasis of the Dragon Souls um, World Legacy uh, Secrets And there's a couple of other ones Back to the front Front um, ooh, another one. Thunder. Oh, this guy. And there's a couple of others. I can't remember off the top of my head. There's a few other cards I can run. Let me just open up Edo Pro. Let me check. I have, I have this deck saved. Let's see here. Where is it at? I have so many decks saved. Oh my god. Um, Gaia, Timagis, Slash Draw, Crooked Cook, Signet, Law, Nurse Burn, Bone Tower, Grand Manju, Empty Jar, Dual Avatar, Skywolf, here it is. Okay, so the other cards are Fateful Hour. Target one monster that can be normal summoner set and special summon it. No. Uh, Super Team Buddy Force. Uh, one monster in the field, one monster in my hand, the same type as that monster. Yeah, I can run that one. Super Team Buddy Force. Uh, play Dogmatica Punishment. Punishment. That was in my, this is a version of the deck. Punishment. 
Okay, and then there's also... Um... Imprudent Intrusion. If your life points are lower than your opponent, destroy a monster... Yeah, we can play one of these. Imprudent Intrusion. 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 If your life points are lower than your opponent, then special summon one monster with an attack less than or equal to the difference in life points. Hell yeah, one copy of Ferret Flames just because? Uh, no. No one copies of Ferret Flames just because. How about three copies of no Ferret Flames just because? Okay, and then uh, any max, infinite permanents, droplets? No. No magic cards? No, I can't play magic cards in this version of the deck. Okay, now what I need is Pegasus. Tis. Uh, try Brigade. Frigit. This should be good as targets for punishment. Okay, and then I need some good removal. There we go. That one's good. Ooh, that one's good. Ooh, this one's good. Ooh, some level fours might be good. Gotcha. Five-headed dragon for the big punishment. That's what I was thinking. I thought I had it saved. Dragon God. Uh, dragon. Big dragon. Where is it at? <gasps> oh, I could play. No, I'm not going to do that. Mm, there it is. Okay. XYZs. Level 4. Level 7s. Remove the dragon search. What's a good level 4 or 5? Oh, I need this. I need some non-destruction removal. Ooh, that's a good non-destruction removal. <gasps> this one only works if it has a dragon monster, is it? It's only quick effect with a dragon. Black Rose Dragon? I can't go into Black Rose Dragon. It is impossible. Don't you guys know anything about anything? Did you buy Magic Cylinder? No. Okay, so that's good. We can just remove a couple of cards we don't really need. Like this one and this one. Oh, isn't there that one Thunder guy? Who summons during your opponent's turn? Mm, I'm pretty sure he's an SR. This one. Uh, discard one card. Target one Thunder monster in your graveyard. Except a Link monster. Spell to zone this card points to. Oh my god, this is really good in this deck. Once per opponent's turn. <gasps> this is literally just Skywolf. <coughs> Why did nobody tell me to play this card? I blame all of you for my troubles. Ice Dragon's Prison should be played? Yeah, probably. You always blame us? Well, I mean, I wouldn't blame you guys if you weren't at fault. So, ruminate on that. Reflect. Ooh, Crackdown's pretty good. One Ice Dragon's Prison. Okay, I had to go like 10 minutes ago, so it's probably my last duel. However, I'm gonna win because I'm playing Thunderclap Skywolf Beatdown. Do you guys even know what Thunderclap Skywolf does? Thunderclap Skywolf has the effect where if it's special summoned from the graveyard, you can destroy all monsters your opponent controls. However, you cannot declare an attack this turn. So if you just summon it during your opponent's turn, then it doesn't matter. They surrendered immediately? Why? I wanted to play my deck. Oh, I'm so close to finishing the event. Their name was Seppuku. I saw that. They must be a big fan of, um, you know, the, the nine crossword puzzle thing where you have to look for the numbers in rows of nines. You explain the car like how the 5Ds anime does it? Shut up. Ice Dragon's Prison be able to stop your entirety of Swo Swo. 
Ice Dragon's prison's pretty good. Easy clap. I know, right? My throat kind of hurts. <gasps> Set two pass. Is he playing Jinzo? Okay, Dogmatica Punishment. Excellent. Let's activate Seahorse. That way I can get my battery mans. Imperial Custom. Uh-huh, whatever. I don't care. Where are my battery mans? There they are. Battery man Solar. Yeah, this is a great hand. This is full combo. Battery man Solar. Activate Solar's effect. To send Skywolf to the grave. Then, attack directly. Give me a second. I'm trying to attack directly, but it's not working. <gasps> if I had... Freaking... Thunder Dragon Colossus in my deck, I could have went into that right now. I could have went into Colossus. Why did none of you guys tell me to add Colossus to this? Oh my goodness gracious, you guys. We did? No, you didn't. Uh-huh. Target one card your opponent controls, send to the graveyard. That one... I kind of need to summon it when he has a card out in order for it to do anything. Destroy that monster. We did add Colossus. Mm, I didn't see it. Here's the thing. When I'm building decks, I kind of only glance at chat a little bit. Eldritch will protect when it comes out. I know. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Blame myself. This is your fault? Mm, I disagree. I told you. You didn't say anything. Then it is your fault. Uh oh, it's Eldritch of the Golden Lords. Battle phase. Okay. That's fine. Whatever. End phase. Activate the effect of one of my cards. We'll activate Dragon Soul. This is why Colossus needs an Eratum. Don't you know? Chat always told you you're right. Whenever you F up, you're never wrong. I am never wrong. Also, this many trips, maybe Heavenly Prison is the way to go. Oh, yeah. I guess Heavenly Prison is an option here, huh? We can send Pheasant to the grave. Okay, then we can bring back Pheasant. With Super Team Buddy Force Unite. Pheasant can allow me to plow through my opponent's board. Because when Pheasant attacks and deals damage. <gasps> Ooh, a token! He um can banish a card temporarily. And he can attack directly. So I can just remove his Golden Lord from the field. You absolute buffoon! Hmm. Normal summon. Battery Man Solar. Ooh, I get another token. Why don't they semi limit Colossus? Colossus. <laughs> another Eldlich? Okay, if you say so. I should have played three copies of Ice Dragon's Prison and not three copies of Dogmatica Punishment. You guys really screwed the pooch on this one. Select a card to send to the graveyard. Mm. Mm. What giraffe? Okay, and another token. I told you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
I don't think you guys have told me anything. <gasps> I can go into it. <laughs> if this card is Link Summoned, destroy all cards your opponent controls, unaffected by other card effects. <sighs> how many times? This is probably not the correct choice, but how many times do I get to go into this card, you know? Like, never. I could also go into this one, or I can go into this one, or I can go into this one. And then bring back his Conquistador. Or I can go into cast style in order to spin the card back to the deck. Do it? Oh, that's such a bad idea, though. I'm full of bad ideas today, though. <laughs> Five-headed Link of God Dragon. I can actually crash over his thing because I have 5,000 attack points. New video. Oh my god. He's immune. He's immune to this, right? Yeah, he's immune to card effects. <laughs> that scared me for a second. I was like, oh no. I could bring back one of my watts. I can bring back Watt Giraffe in order to turn off all of his card effects for this turn. Okay, all of his effects are turned off now. So he can't use his end of phase effects in order to get more advantage. Bad ideas? This was a great idea. What are you talking about? I turned off his graveyard effects. He wasn't able to use Eldlixir. I don't think he could have used it, actually. Uh, you can only use one effect per turn, only once that turn. Yeah, because this is... <gasps> Imperial Custom? Hmm. Hmm. We can use Peaceful Burial to get another card in the graveyard. You can Lila take his Eldlich? I know I can! Nice try. Thank you. I was trying my best. You know what they say. The early bird catches the worm. Don't you just win? Can't he not beat over it? He has a maintenance cost, which can destroy it. Once per turn during your opponent's end phase, banish five cards from your graveyard. Whoa. Exciting. Okay. He's adding an Eldlich. Then he's probably going to special summon the Eldlich. Uh-oh. I bet you can't catch this worm. What? Can't Lee Bay beat over it? Oh yeah, I guess Lee Bay could beat over it too. <gasps> do I have any 3,000 attack monsters in my deck? I think I do. Yeah, we gotta stop him now. Uh, Underworld Goddess. Yeah, punish it. <laughs> Clueless. What? He's playing a Time Lord? Oh my god. You have got to be kidding me right meow. He just had a freaking Time Lord in his hand? The one that inflicts 5,000 damage? Um. Hazukashi. One, two, three, four, five. I can pay his maintenance cost, don't worry. Uh, Oasis of the Dragon Souls. Um, uh, 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 uh. All right, a few more watts. I can attack directly. <laughs> Battle Fader. <laughs> You've got to be freaking kidding me. Who plays Battle Fader and Eldlich? Do you not know how Eldlich is supposed to work? <laughs> this guy's built different. I'm trying my best. Five headed Link Dragon God is getting his butt handed to him by this Eldlich pro. 
I've never seen Eldritch player with a head as big as this guy's. I can still like wipe his field during his turn. It's just yeah, you beat this most unconventional of methods. I can I still have a board wipe, and I can I can keep um, five headed Link God Dragon on the field for an extra turn. Okay, well it's not gonna work versus this Eldritch who's gonna be immune to destruction effects, and then can just crash into my uh, Watt Giraffe. He was also running Magic Cylinder. He was, he was running Magic Cylinder. Okay, Oasis of the Dragon Souls. I can bring out this card and gain 5,000 life points if he gets destroyed, which he's not. I can use this to send a card from my deck to the graveyard, which doesn't do anything. I can bring out Thunderclap Skywolf in defense position to destroy all of my opponent's cards. However, he's immune to destruction effects this turn. So it literally does nothing in my Watt Giraffe is my weak point. Because he was playing freaking Battle Fader. Who the hell plays Battle Fader in current year? What was this garbage deck? I have to take a look at this garbage deck that destroyed me. His name was Chow. Oh my god, <laughs> that's an Exodia deck. <laughs> With random one copy of Magic Cylinder? How did I lose to this? He was playing an Eldritch Engine. That wasn't even an Eldritch deck. It was an Exodia deck. That deck is winning YCS. I mean, nobody expects Magic Cylinder. He also had Anti-Fusion Era, if I, was, if I saw that correctly. Neither player can Fusion. Who the hell is using Fusion Summons in this event? It's so much worse than we thought. That's hilarious. Yeah, we lost that. Shut up. I don't lose. I always win. I'm a winner. Who's streaming right now? Oh, I gotta reset. Metals owned 9100. Excellent. Eldlitch Turbo Time. Um. Jade and Mari? I don't see Mari on. Are you sure she's on? It's a worm time. On a two. Oops. Oh, there she is. Is she having internet problems? It's in the back there. Do you see? Night logs, Opomu. <gasps> oh, right. A secret stream today? What do you mean a secret stream today? It's already like almost midnight. Here, Jade's playing Master Duel. Okay, see you guys in like two days, or tomorrow if you watch the secret streams, goodbye.